do you feel that the ECB has really done enough with all that, that it's done so far? I mean, is it, is it the kind of thing you'd expect and hope for? This time, uh, now the action uh, is uh, essentially needed uh, uh, from the member states uh, and uh, from the European Union political decision makers in a sense that uh, we need uh, a strong fiscal policy response uh, in parallel with uh, a strong monetary policy response. Uh, fiscal yeah. policy, if uh, directed uh, uh, rightly, then uh, it can have a very substantial impact uh, on the real economy and uh, quite quickly. Yes. Um, just to stick with the monetary policy uh, a moment, Oli Rain, and in, on the topic of taking further action, does having PEPP with essentially no limits on how much debt you can buy remove the need for launching outright monetary transactions? These are not uh, alternatives. Uh, and uh, I would not like to speculate at this stage uh, whether we would uh, need to use uh, the outright monetary transactions uh, or not. Uh, it is uh, one part of uh, our toolbox. Uh, and uh, as you may recall or you may read from my book, uh, it was uh, a critical decision in uh, August, uh, September 2012, following Manu Draghi's uh, now legendary speech uh, in London during the Olympic Games uh, in, in July 2012, when he said that uh, within our mandate, uh, we will do whatever it takes to ensure the future of the, of the euro. So then the ONT was the, was the tool, but uh, you may recall that uh, that also requires uh, a program under the European Stability Mechanism, and uh, this seems to have been rather contentious uh, among the member states uh, in their discussions uh, recently. Will they come to an agreement on that, Oli Rain? I think uh, the most urgent thing to get to, to an agreement is uh, a fiscal policy, a coordinated uh, and uh, strong European fiscal policy response. Oli Rain, looking further ahead, I mean, th when this crisis is over, do you think there are going to be long-term structural changes in terms of consumption, supply chains, uh, even inflation as a result of this in the euro area? Nobody knows, but uh, everybody is... Uh, thinking and talking about that, and uh, rightly so, because so we have to start, uh, apart from the acute uh, policy measures, uh, crisis measures, we have to start thinking about the exit from the crisis. Uh, and uh, one each issue which is uh, certainly of uh, matter of concern is that uh, we all are going to pile up uh, quite a lot of uh, public yeah, debt. Yeah. But uh, on the other hand, uh, that's uh, worse of a problem if it is one of uh, than uh, letting the whole national economy or European economy fall with bankruptcies and uh, mass unemployment. Oli Rain, very briefly, should there be private debt cancellation, as Mario Draghi suggested in an FT op-ed? I didn't read it uh, as uh, straightforward as you, as you proposed, uh, but uh, we will uh, have to think uh, about uh, how we will deal with uh, the massive uh, problem of uh, private and uh, public debt.